Here we have a weldment we put together in the previous lesson, but this time it was created using a number of structural members. When different structural members are used, SolidWorks can't automatically trim overlapping segments. You can see there are several areas where structural members are overlapping. For instance, the support beam between these two legs. Before we correct this problem, let's make sure we understand why this happened on one side and not the other. The tool we'll use to fix this is called Trim Extend. You'll find the tool on the Weldment toolbar. When you select it, the Trim Extend property manager appears. We'll use the End Trim option. The body to be trimmed is the horizontal member. I'll trim it using the two other bodies, so I'll select the Bodies option and select the two bodies intersecting it. You can see a preview showing how the member will be trimmed. Notice that even though the body's face has a fillet on each side, the trimmed member is cut straight across at the flat face. Before completing this feature, let's take a look at the other corner types we can use. When I select the miter option, notice it can only be used between two members and that both members are trimmed. The same happens with the butt corner types with different corner configurations. In this case, I don't want to trim the outside members, so I'll go back to the end trim corner type, choose bodies as the trimming boundary, select the correct segments and click OK. Next, we'll trim the four legs of this weldment. Notice that each of these is to be trimmed to the same length. I'll click the Trim Extend icon and keep the end trim corner type. All four members will be selected as bodies to be trimmed. The trimming boundary can be any planar face that is at the correct position. I'll select this one. I'll click OK and the trim feature is complete. Let's move on to a couple of trimming problems that are a bit more challenging. 